where to find things um, and to keep the clutter at bay specifically using the question, where will I look for this next as a way of figuring out where to keep things. So let me ask you a couple things. Are you afraid of losing the things you need uh, in your own space? And are you a visual person? Um, both of those comments I get, well, actually I don't get people saying I'm afraid of losing things. Um, they say, I'm afraid I won't be able to find it again. And, or they will say, I need to leave it out. So I remember, well, it turns out both of these thoughts lead you to having more clutter out and in your way on a day-to-day -day basis. So once you have things left out to remind you for a while, sometimes other things get put on top of them. Sometimes they become like wallpaper and you don't even notice them anymore. Um, and now there's more places to look for the things you're trying to find when you actually do need them. So rather than saying, I need to leave it out for now, um, because I'm afraid I'll forget it. What if instead you ask the question, where would I look for this and put it there? And even better, where would I look for this next? Because sometimes there's an interim step that has to be done. And once that step is done, it might have a different, where would I look for this answer? So start setting up this pattern in your brain. So think of it this way you would not look for ice cream in the bathroom. You would look for it in the freezer, right? So now you don't have to leave the ice cream in the bathroom in case you forget you have ice cream or you'll see it every morning. You know it's in the freezer because you thought through it should be in the freezer or I would look in the freezer, not the bathroom for my ice cream. So that might be a little bit of an exaggerated example, but it happens all the time. People leave weird things out so they don't forget them in weird places. On the chair, on top of the TV, in front of the door, um, hanging out of your purse, in the car, uh, with the kids' shoes. There's all kinds of things that I see when I go to people's houses that actually might work better than just leaving it out visually. Um, I myself am a fan of putting things right in front of the door so I don't forget to take them out. But you get to decide how your brain makes the connections. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to begin setting up the pattern for your brain. And the more things you figure out, where am I going to do this? The more of it becomes a process. It becomes a framework for the brain to find things again. And it doesn't have to be out and in the way in the meantime. So when it comes to paperwork, you get to decide. Do you file your insurance policies under a folder named insurance or a separate one for car insurance, life insurance, medical insurance, stored next to your health care files? Or do you put them all in the same file called insurance? You get to decide the level of depth of micro organizing you want once you have the general category of where it goes. But basically, you know it's in that file drawer somewhere. It might be under insurance, it might be under life, but you get to pick which one it is and if that's the right drawer for it, right? Maybe it's actually the fireproof safe. Maybe it's actually a safe deposit box. Maybe it's the kitchen drawer. But you see what I'm saying? You get to determine the pattern of where you would find it. So bottom line is stop leaving things out so that you don't forget them and get in the habit of asking the question, where would I look for this and putting it there? Because when you put it away in that spot where you'll look for it, you're more likely to find it when you actually need it. You at least have a place to begin your search. Oh, well, I think I keep those things in that kitchen drawer, right? And when you practice, you get to the point where you don't even have to search. You just know where it is. You'll have the confidence to know exactly where it is. So start asking that question, where will I look for this? And use that as how to get organized. Starting point when you have lots and lots of piles. So I will see you next week. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, share, turn on your notifications and tell all your friends because it's more fun to do it together. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.